Hi guys and welcome back to our walkthrough at Tuppence Magazine for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And you're picking back up to us after talking to the king, I think it's King Dorothan, and his assistant, this dude here, Muzu, and uh, Prince Sidon. And we've just got the Zora armor, and we're just heading out because we need to get uh, some some shock arrows. So we're going to try and hunt those down. And to do that, we need to swim up the uh, the waterfalls just around the corner. And your new armor will allow you to do that, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to head up to the start of that. Are just around here. And then once you've got the shock arrows, you'll be able to take on the uh, the first of your divine beast. Which is a seminal moment in the game. So as you can see, there's a big waterfall up ahead. So we're just gonna head up there. Keep our stamina for the actual swim up. Okay, so we've got a pretty much a full stamina now. I'm gonna swim upwards by pressing A. And that's as simple as it is to climb these waterfalls. And at the top, you'll bring out the paraglider to get yourself as close again as possible. And once again, dive on in, swim on up. And repeat this until you get to the top. And when we get to the top, then we've got a challenge. The challenge is a particularly nasty beast. But there's something you kind of need to know about this nasty beast, and it's pretty much that you just need to stay out of his way. If you can stay out of his way, you won't have too many problems. As soon as you get anywhere near him, he, he pretty much just kicks your ass the entire time. Um, unless you're very, very powerful and quite a way into the game, which we're not at this stage. And we're kind of expecting most of you guys not to be too far into it either. So we're just picking up a few things along the way. As ever, it's good to stock up your inventory. Okay. I'm just going to head out over here. Swim up again. Okay, and that's the last of those. We already picked up one of the shock arrows that's lying around back at Zora Kingdom. So there's two more. So that should take our shock arrows up to three. And that's essentially you need 20 to be able to take on the Varuta um, Divine Beast. Uh, so this will take us to number four. And we're just going to head up. Silent Shroom along the way. Okay, it's up to five now, so we only need number 15 at the top. It's not so easy, but we may have to do a little bit of running. So this is the beast. Those are the shock arrows you're going to try and collect. And he's pretty well tooled up. So what you want to do is just stay out of his way. <laughs> Avoid him as much as possible. He's heard you. Come to investigate. Around out of the way as much as possible. Probably hear us. Here he comes. He's gonna run. Huh? 
because he's onto our game. And he's killed us. Okay, so as you can see, he's not so easy. Um, he can kill you. What we're doing is just kind of waiting it out. There he is. That's supposed to be what we should have done earlier. Instead of moving around so much. So there we go, he's moving away. And you can see there's some shock arrows over there. So we're gonna head out and try and get those. I kind of think he's distracted enough to be able to get up here. So that's six, seven. Stay out of his eye line. Look around, see if there's any more. A bit of crouching. Okay, he's over there. So he pretty much just kills you as soon as he hits you with his shock arrows. So best to just give in as much of a wide berth as possible. Go up to eight, nine, ten. So just double check that. Yeah, so we just need ten more to go. Now up here, there's a quite a good clutch of them. I'm just going to head up and get all of these while he's down in the valley. 11. Some more up here. 12, 13, 14, 15. So now we only need five, which is brilliant. Jump at your own risk. Okay, we'll avoid that. Um, so, can we see the dude down there? That's the question. Just want to scout out where he is as we head down. We only need five. So we're getting super close. There he is, okay. He's over there. We're just going to come out of this timeline again. But you can still see. He's coming over here. Okay, so we're going to we're going to hide essentially <laughs> as much as possible. And crouch. And in general. Just wait it out. There he goes. Okay, so. Shock arrows done. <laughs> Around here. Up to 18, so we only need a couple more. So it's just a case of there he is over there. Two. 
so I'll get this one in the tree while we're here. No, we're just going to be a bit brazen now we've got enough. Grab as many as we can. And that's it, I, re I reckon that's enough. I think we're up to, yeah, 24 loads. So that's kind of more than enough to take on Varuta. And there's another one here, so might as well grab it. Just, see where we go. Just gonna glide on down here now. It's just a case of heading back down. Get down to the bottom, we can take on the Varuta um, Divine Beast, which is the next challenge. But before we do that, we're going to do the uh, the shrine back of the Zora Kingdom, which is sort of worth doing. So we'll catch up with you down there. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope that helped you take on that nasty at the top of the mountain. Um, he's pretty difficult if you take him on face on. But, there's another shrine down there, it's worth knowing about. Um, but if you just kind of cower out of his way, um, he's not so tough. So, uh, so we'll catch up with you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks, goodbye.